Hello Year One and welcome to Monday's English lesson. So we're starting a new unit today. We're moving away from our traditional tales. You guys have done a brilliant job with those. And we're now going to be looking at some poetry. And we're going to do poetry for two weeks. This will take us up to half term. And then after half term, we'll be looking at something new again. So our learning intention today is to perform a poem, a nice drama activity for you at the start of the week. OK, excellent. Right. So our starter question is, what is poetry? And do you remember the last poem that we looked at? And I've given you a little clue there with the picture up here. So pause the video, have a little chat with the people you're at home with. What is poetry or what is a poem? And do you remember the last poem that we looked at? Off you go. OK, excellent. So let's go through this question first. So what is poetry? So a poem or poetry is a piece of writing that expresses feelings and ideas using imaginative language. People have been writing them for thousands of years. A person who writes poetry is called a poet. So we are all going to become poets throughout this unit. Can you remember the last poem that we looked at? Does anyone know what this clue is? Of course, it's the Five Little Owls. Do you remember that poem? Excellent. So this was an example of poetry that we've looked at before. So I'll read it to you now just to remind you. And our toolkit is there. See if you can spot the key features from our old poetry toolkits. There's a title. OK, well, the title was on the previous page. There it is. OK, so see if you can spot some rhyming couplets. Remember what those are. See if you can see a new line after the rhyming word and see if you can see some punctuation at the end of each line. OK, five little owls in an old elm tree, fluffy and puffy as owls could be, blinking and winking with big round eyes at the big round moon that hung in the skies. As I passed beneath, I could hear one say, there'll be mouse for supper there will today. Then all of them hooted, to wit, to woo. Yes, mouse for supper, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. So, can you spot those rhyming couplets? Well, let's remind each other, what does that mean, rhyming couplets? Hmm. Okay, excellent. Well, we know what rhyming is. It's where the words have similar sounds in them to make them rhyme. Okay, let's look at an example. We've got tree and B. And they're spelt completely differently, aren't they? But they both have the E sound in them. Tree and B. It's the E sounds. So it's all about similar sounds. Can you spot any more? Excellent work. OK, you, you're right. They're usually at the end as well. So we've got big round eyes hung in the skies. Again, spelled completely different, but it's all about the sound. I could hear one say, there'll be mouse for supper, there will. Today, say and today. Now they both do have the A sound and they're both spelled the same. Then we've got to wit, to woo, and who. Excellent. So our rhyming couplets are couples. Okay, you can see the word couple in the word couplets. And what that means is a pair. So we can see one, two, that's a pair. 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 It's all about the pairs with rhyming couplets. So we spotted that as well. Can you spot the new line after the rhyming word? Excellent. Well, we just said that the rhyming words are at the end. So that means that after we've said a rhyming word, we start a new line. And did you spot the punctuation at the end of each line? Excellent work, team. So there are commas. OK, for when it continues it in on to the next line. There's a colon. OK, and we'll come on to those later. And there is an exclamation marks as well. Excellent. OK, well, and team, so that was our previous poetry unit and our previous toolkit. Now, our toolkit and our poems might be changing a little bit this week. OK, because we're onto a new, harder unit, which is fantastic. So, like I said today, our learning intention is to perform a poem. 
we're going to begin our new unit poetry and we're going to look into a poem called the bear that came down the mountain so before you've seen it before you've heard it what do you think this poem is going to be about i want to make a prediction linking to our lovely reading skills so pause the video have a little prediction about what you think this poem is going to be about Okay, well done team, you're absolutely right. It is about a bear that came down from the mountain. So let's have a little look then at the poem. And it's written in a really, really interesting way. And this is our model text. So what that means is we're gonna be referring to this quite a lot and using it uh, for our innovation and our inventing, which is gonna be superb. So I'll read it to you now. The bear came down from the mountain, yawning the morning away and scratching and sniffing and stretching and itching and fishing for most of the day. The bear went into the forest, hoping to find some tea and stuffing and sticking and picking and licking the honey he took from a tree. The bear went back up the mountain, yawning from having his fun and hopping and skipping and humming and singing and happy with food in his tum, with honey and fish in his tum, yum. Wow. I really love that poem. The first thing that I really, really like about it is the way that this first section is written here. Why do you think it's written like that? Hmm, have a little think. Why do you think it's written like that? I think you're absolutely right. I think it's because the words are saying the bear came down from the mountain. And it looks like somebody's going down a mountain there, doesn't it? The writing looks like it's going down a mountain. And you might find this sometimes in poetry because it's an expressive and imaginative way of uh, showing feelings or describing things. Okay, we've got it here on this side as well. The bear went back up the mountain and it's written going up this time. Okay. And again, we have got some lovely rhyming words. We've got away and day, tea and tree, fun in his tum, and yum. Can you spot any more? Excellent. Well, there's lots of ing words, aren't there? Okay. Stuffing, sticking, picking, licking. So sticking, picking, licking, they all kind of rhyme because they've all got the same sound in there as well as well as the ing sound scratching sniffing stretching itching stretching and itching fishing hopping skipping humming singing they've all got that ing sound in so those are lovely rhyming words as well excellent work team so that's our model text that we're going to be using so our task today is to perform that poem okay we're going to be acting it out let's read through it again and let's have a little look at some of the actions that we can use so the bear came down from the mountain so what i want you to do at home is pretend to be the bear act out coming down a mountain for me off you go act it out excellent so you could have coming down from the mountain okay yawning the morning away show me how you're going to yawn Ooh, yeah indeed oh i've just spotted yawning and morning they rhyme as well don't they yawning the morning Okay, excellent. You're in the morning away and scratching. Show me some scratching. And sniffing. <laughs> and stretching. And itching. And fishing for most of the day. Excellent. So we have just acted out the first verse. That's one of our key words looking through this poetry unit. This is a verse. And we've got another verse here and another verse here. What I want you to do, ladies and gents, is I would like you to act out this poem. Now, you might like to make a video and send it in to me, but you can just act out at home. That's absolutely fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all of my rubbings, okay, so you can see the lovely poem. And what you can do is you can read through it again with the adult that you have at home. And then I would like you to act it out, become the bear and act it out, because we're gonna be using this poem on Friday again to create a text map and then next week to be innovating and changing it. So we really need to focus on learning it. Okay, I hope you enjoy this challenge. No writing, 
just some lovely acting. Off you go. Enjoy your English challenge today. <laughs>